since I'm 17 years old. I just, I said to myself, I'm going to devote my life to art. In 1974, the Nesbitt sold their loft building in New York City and moved to Cape Breton Island. There's no uh, separation between the life and the work. It just, no. as you're living, a piece that, of work comes out of that. Right. Yeah. And it can be on any occasion, and it's usually very occasionally, not a lot, that it happens, and then the piece comes out of your life. Yeah, like every, day, every day we live in order to make our work, and uh, we live that life for that. Some days it doesn't happen. It's like, like it blossoms every now and then, is what yeah. I'm saying. Others before us have created beautiful rhythm, and the best we can do is to be as beautiful. But that can't be forced. Like all rhythm, it comes naturally. And by that, I mean, one leaves themselves open for it, truly open, with as little of the encumbrances of our society that we live in, because that is stifling in itself. You know, I do all my work by hand, and uh, if, if it keeps getting sold and sold and sold like that, I don't have anything to refer to. To me, making sculpture is like writing poems. To me, sculpture is poetry. A genius. This man is a genius. When I get up in the morning, my only function is to go and do sculpture. 